two. Hey everybody, Dr. Hill here from Advanced Animal Care Berea, and I'm joined today by our clinic cat here, Mr. Sunny, and we're gonna be discussing um, uh, feline internal and external parasites, as well as some treatments, preventions, and things that we can do for your pet. All right, Dr. Hill, what are intestinal parasites? Uh, so they are parasites that live in the gastrointestinal tract. Um, the most common thing that people think of is worms. Um, and they are parasites that we can find sometimes on a fecal flotation or we can send off to the lab for some enzyme testing or PCR testing. Um, but they're, they're just those nasty boogers that live in that gastrointestinal tract. So how does intestinal parasites impact the health and well-being of your cat? So um, I, def I call them passengers is what I call them. And the reason for that is because they're hanging out in there and they're actually eating the nutrition that your cat is supposed to be getting. Um, so we can definitely sometimes see some weight loss because of that because they're not getting all of their nutrition. But they also cause irritation and inflammation of that gastrointestinal tract. So we see a lot of gastrointestinal signs too, like vomiting, upset stomach, unwillingness to eat, and even things like uh, loose or runny stool leading to diarrhea. Sometimes it even has blood in it. So it just depends, but, but they're nasty little booger bears living in there. So what prevention measures can be taken to ensure that my cat doesn't get worms or other parasites? So the the easiest thing and best thing to do is to keep your pet on a monthly prevention. Um, for Kitty, it's my favorite monthly prevention is the Revolution Plus. Um, the reason why I like it so much is it because it covers everything. So we're getting your pet protected from inside and out, um, starting with ear mites. It uh, prevents against heartworm disease. It prevents against fleas and ticks now with the plus part of Revolution, um, as well as as preventing those intestinal parasites. Great, so what are some signs and symptoms of intestinal parasites in your cat? So sometimes some owners actually see certain parasites on their pet. So if you've ever seen what looks like a little grain of rice sticking to their bum, that is an intestinal parasite right there. Um, sometimes you can see the fleas or the ticks on their hair coat, um, especially if they if they go outside, though we do see them on indoor cats as well. Um, so you can see them there. But then again, you can see some of those symptoms. So losing weight um, or having vomiting or diarrhea, which definitely be a, a reason to have your check cat for parasites. So how will a veterinarian diagnose intestinal parasites in cats? So um, for intestinal parasites, we generally do a fecal flotation to look to see if we can find any eggs from those parasites. That's what we're looking for. And then based off of what eggs we're seeing, we can diagnose what parasites are in there. Um, sometimes we have to send off to the lab to have some more specific tests run because we can't always see the eggs on the fecal flotation for every parasite. So what are some possible conditions caused by intestinal parasites and what are the treatments? Um, so, I, again, we see a lot of gastrointestinal disease. Um, we can see weight loss, um, unthrifty hair coat. There are also some diseases that uh, we call them kind of uh, fakers, if that makes sense. It looks like a very serious disease, but it's actually caused by an infestation of intestinal parasites. So that's why we tend to recommend those intestinal parasite checks a lot. And then depending on what we're finding, then we can recommend a treatment. So so I really love feline drontal here. It is an oral dewormer that we give that, that covers all of, uh, well, so all of the major intestinal parasites that we see in cats. There are some other ones there that require some different specific treatments, but for all of our general booger bears out there, I tend to reach for that feline drontal. So why is early detection and diagnosis of intestinal parasites so important? So if we get to the point, you know, because the, the parasites there, they're freeloading for a, for a good meal um, and they're reproducing. That's what they're doing. And so we can get to the point where the burden is so bad that we can have an obstruction of the gastrointestinal tract. Um, it can lead to so much depletion that it makes your pet very, very ill. Um, it's even gotten to the point where I've seen such a, such a terrible burden in a pet. And granted, it's very few and far between but um, it caused such a severe anemia that that pet needed a blood transfusion. 
So when should my cat see a veterinarian for deworming? So I recommend, um, again, keeping on the monthly prevention that covers everything, the ear mites, the heartworms, fleas, ticks, and intestinal parasite. If you keep on that monthly, for the most part, that's all you need to do. Um, if you don't stay on a monthly uh, all-in-one prevention and your cat goes outside, I would definitely recommend at least deworming your pet every three months, especially if they're a hunter. As we know, some cats are hunters out there. Um, because they can pick up intestinal parasites from mice or rabbits or crickets or bugs, things like that that they tend to hunt can, can transmit those parasites. All right. Thank you so much. You're so welcome.